Hey guys, welcome to another video and in today's video we're going to look at the install and preview for yet another ROM for the Pocophone F1. Today we are talking about AOSP Extended 8 unofficial based on Android 11 for the Pocophone F1. Now as far as the source change log is concerned, it does say added battery styles, added lock screen customizations, switch back to two ROM QS, QS panel and device change log added system wide Dolby that is good switch to user build SE Linux enforcing CTS should pass by default so that's not much of a change log but yes that is yet another Android 11 based custom ROM for the Pocophone F1 now before we begin if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video and we have a telegram channel the link for the same is mentioned in the description we do have a discussion group as well where you can chat with us and have a lot of fun last but not the least if you wish to support the channel you can definitely click the join button and enjoy exclusive perks and exclusive content now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is Kalash let's get going Alright, so first things first, what all are we going to need here? We will be needing the firmware 12.0.2, the latest one. We will be needing the ROM file that is AISP Extended 8 and we will need the Android 11G apps. That's basically it. Those are the three files I recommend. If you want, you can flash my disk as well and all the other add-ons are at your own risk. Do check the ROM description for all the other details. Now, before we begin, I would recommend backup all your data. Make sure you have more than 50% battery for a safe and, you know, complete clean flash because as always we're going to wipe everything including internal storage and then we are going to format data as well to make sure we don't have any encryption decryption issues so let's reboot into recovery everything is in this pen drive already so let's go as always press and hold volume up and power till the time you see the boot logo to enter recovery now this is a normal rom so you can use any twrp I'm going to be using the TWRP from the Oxygen OS build, but I think that should be just fine. So first things first, we will go to wipe, format data, type in yes, hit the tick mark and then reboot to recovery. Do not install. Okay, once you boot it back into recovery, go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik, cache, system, vendor, data and internal storage. We will wipe everything. Okay, now it's time to install the ROM. So go to install select storage i'm going to select the usb otg because that is where my files are so let's go to poco f1 and first we will select the firmware that is the vendor firmware so select that and then add more zips and aosp extended and then add more zips and the nick g apps the basic version because that is small swipe to confirm flash so we're going to be flashing three big files over here. One of them is around a gig and the ROM is also 800 to 900 megs. So it will take two to five minutes. So please be patient while that happens. All right. So as you can see over here, everything is flashed. So wipe cache in Dalvik and reboot system. Do not install. Let's see what camera this unofficial ROM with comes with. What are the features? And again, it is Android 11. So do we get any force closures or not? But from the experience that I've had with Awaken OS, which was also based on Android 11, it was pretty good. And the AX boot logo looks a little different, pretty minimalistic, but enjoyable. So let's wait for the ROM to boot up and let's see what it has got. All right, so we are on the home screen of AOSP Extended based on Android 11 on the Pocophone F1. We're going to just adjust a little bit of brightness there and we would want to disable the auto brightness. Just a minute here. But nonetheless, it does detect the USB OTG and yeah, it looks fairly smooth and the first impressions are pretty, pretty good. But all the magic happens in settings for these custom ROMs. Um, yeah, so let's go to about phone. So this is what it is, 8 unofficial November security patch. Android version is 11 and the build date is the 12th of November. And let's see what customization options we have over here in settings. So do we have the dedicated extensions? Yes, you do have. Oh, and as I said, as I always say in all my custom ROM videos, if you're gonna do a layout, do it so well that people actually feel like using their customizations, the dedicated gaming mode, general tweaks, buttons, customization, battery, lock screen UI, navigation bar, 
quick settings panel status bar so yeah that looks pretty pretty slick over there and i do have the hd icon so that means connectivity wise as well i don't really have any issues let's actually look how many applications we have here 5 15 into 17 applications not that bad but yeah youtube advanced you would love that youtubers won't anyways just kidding there a very very basic camera application no google cam or anx camera now you can go ahead and install anx on this particular rom so you are covered on that part but all in all the installation process for this particular rom even though it is based on android 11 is pretty pretty straightforward and it sort of has me convinced that you know you can maybe give it a try once i'm back from my trip if you're a regular subscriber you do know that i'm traveling till monday that is the 23rd of november 2020 that is the reason you see so many installs and previews back to back but yeah once i'm back i'm gonna try each one of these roms for 24 to 48 hours and I'm gonna make a full review for you guys including gaming tests, thermal tests and a lot more. Let me know in the comment section how did you like this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.